Spent a season in Fayetteville with the University of Arkansas before transferring to UCA. First carry for Shun takes it to the house. Uh, 63 yards, very patient. Shun Derek Powell, 15 touchdowns a season ago, put him on the board. Number one for the. McIlvain back on the field. Hands off to Powell again, wrestling his way forward before Steve Hamstring. It's Josh George back up center, starting at left guard today. Powell goes to the right, looking at making people miss. So Derek. Well, he showed a little bit of power, a little bit of finesse on that one, Wes. It was speed. The well, that move at about the five yard line, that'll shake you out of your shoes. Extra point is good. Shreveport, Louisiana had 12 carries a week ago. Play action, they'll throw and complete the pass out in the flats. Who is preseason all United Athletic Conference. Sadler's in trouble, brought for Central Arkansas in their home opener. Sadler floats one near sideline over the head of the intended receiver. That's DeAndre. Today, Central Arkansas in all purple. Sadler throws quick, leads his man downfield, perfectly played. Off to a good start in this one, one for one. Quick pass to Gerard Barnes, but when you've got running backs like he has at his disposal, keep handing it off. Now it's Hale's turn. McIlvain will throw on first down. Ball popped into the air, incomplete. Pressure from behind. Needed defensive depth in today for Texas College, but here comes Hale. Head of steam, first down and more across the 30, 25. And a direct snap to Hale. Steers had this one figured out. Ajibola the line last week. Second down and a mile. McIlvain will throw to the end zone, looking for Miles Butler and a. Steers adjust their defense, ready for the pass. McIlvain over the middle, has his man Butler third times the chow. 26 yards. McIlvain just kept trying to find his guy and finally converts. And go. Oh, perhaps the most talented defensive end at this level, FCS football. Bouncing outside. The first down unless the receiver runs for it after a short catch. They'll just hand it off. Sloan trying to give him some space, gets it. Sure enough, it is time for running back number three. Kylan James is into the game. But the first play of this series is a pass complete to Cameron. In at quarterback, draw Barnes out there. Just a sub here or there right now. And there's one of them, Kylan James, running back number three. Pass. Lightning and Darius Hale is thunder. What do you make of Kylty his first two seasons? Catching balls out of the backfield, but he can take a carry and bang ready and watch the edge rushers. Here come Walker and Jessup. Sadler throws, nearly picked off. Back Will McIlvain, Darius Hale is the running back, but the receivers are reserves. And it's Manny Smith again, finding space, has a first down and more as he reverses the field. They're not getting a first down or giving Texas College a first down. McIlvain. Pass complete. That's Tyon Berry making a grab for the first time. McIlvain and Tyon Berry. And if you don't believe me, check out Will McIlvain's Instagram. That's all I'm going to say. Darius Hale. <laughs> Great. Play action. They set up the screen. Pass is caught. Inside the 15, wrestling. Handoff to Hale. Shedding tacklers. Bouncing outside and trotting. Down. Extra point bench of the three-headed monster running back. Powell, Hale, and Jane transfer from Mississippi Delta Community College. Coach Nathan Brown had a lot of good things to say about some of the backups we're going to see today as James will get the carry. Find space, a huge hold to the 40, 45, finally tap Behind Myers, they bring in an extra blocker. James bounces to the outside, across the 50. It's a foot race to the 40, and tripped up for a big gain, and that time to the outside. For the third straight time, it's James. Trucking to the, th yes. They'll have a chance to prove it next week. As James gets to the outside, tackled from right in the eyes of the Central Arkansas offense. James will go left side this time. And he just keeps barreling games this series. And he'll get the call once again. And this time, the steers break through. 
They are making the Bears work for it. But just too much Kyron James. The gym play, and that doesn't happen all the time. Sadler, big throw on first down. Over to the corner. Will also be part of that equation for one final season before the Owls move over to Conference USA. This is a new running back. Isaiah keeping score at home. That'll be ACU versus UA UCA in the UAC opener. Say that again. I, I, I couldn't say it the first time. You heard me. lead. Again, it's Broadway. To the right side. Shedding tackler this possession. Five foot eight, 240 pound sophomore Peyton Petroff. As we do get a pass, they were looking for Barry, but into coverage. Hands land. They'll go for it from the 32 yard line. Backup quarterback Austin Myers going for it all to tie on Barry. Barry has it. Play call. Fourth down. You need about six. You go for it all up almost as many yards and exactly as many points. The defense has to step up this season, and they have reason to believe that's going to happen is on third down the catch. They have nine returning starters to that defense, including three preseason all-conference players as the ball is aired. Changes to college football this year. The clock does not stop while they move the chain, so only 20 seconds left for Brown. Had a man open. That was Hill again at the 25-yard line of them. Lined up at the 25-yard line. Well, they'll try to hand it off one more time. That's not going to buy him any extra real estate. For Texas College, he was 2 of 5 for 26 yards on that last drive of the first half. Gets a low pass over complete. But the second guy could. New formation out of this year's. They bunch receivers to the right side. Brown under duress throws that ball low, and you can credit the defensive the best JUCOs in the country. If you ever watched Last Chance U on Netflix, that's where it started. It was in the Magnolia State. Third down, that pass just a little. It's almost drafted by the Denver Broncos. Quite a pedigree to be mentioning for the sophomore Golday, who played like most of the defensive star. They'll give to Broadway, right up the gut. Getting great blocks from the line, but an even better tackle from behind by E.J. Young to bring him down. About equal touches. Broadway, the backup to the three-headed monster, and now he has got his touchdown. Another rushing touchdown for this. After seven for seven, make it eight for eight, and he just drilled the scoreboard again. Two nights. The Yankees were also in town. It's the worst traffic I've ever seen in my life. I'll tell you <laughs> what, I can appreciate what she's done for, and her fans have done for. But he is the third quarterback of the day for the Bears. Hands the ball off. Carry on first down and a long way to go. That's first and goal. Does he have any left in the tank? No, they got to bring in a different back who touches the pile. Six players on it, and yet the quarterback and running back responsible for that score aren't among the hundred and son. North Alabama and these Central Arkansas Bears both found homes in the Gulf South prior to their D1 leap. Bears fans are very live at some point in the summer left Central Arkansas without an opponent this week. Texas College comes in and well Central on the last drive West but didn't get the touchdown play. Now he's got 200 pound freshman wearing number 90 on the back of his jersey and he poked it through like it was no problem here tonight. You know I look down at this home side all the UCA Bear fans that are still here. I was like you know that's that's great. You know they're still right, sticking yes, around please. watching. Wes you were you were one for one predicting that a running back would get over 100 yards and, and, and that indeed happened. You also were very astute next week for them. They'll be at home against Ottawa University of Arizona. As Williams now catches a pass out of the flats adds a few more. They'll actually it's all about getting some guys some action and some experience who would usually not get to play but you know, it's also a chance to heal up a lot. third down for the steers from the third Brown just heaves one up jump ball did the Bears come down with it they do man in motion on the play action they'll throw to that man coming across the field it's number three that's Anthony he hands the ball off again and that's once again number 37 Newman to take there was a chance that Smith could have come back and gone for coach Brown's record there's got to be a story behind Wilcox 
Victor Jonathan got that last tackle for Texas College. And now coming right through with a head of steam is one of the many former Southland Conference teams defected and went to either the A-Sun or the WAC. The Southland, of course, still exists. Themselves and, um, just, just a, I mean, just a great guy. Just felt like I was talking with just a normal guy, not a pro football Hall of Fame quarterback. This one has been getting the carries as of late. He and Winters. Williams picked up a first down earlier. This is Winters on the carry. 